All right, in our last video, I showed you guys how you are able to connect to your Raspberry Pi to the graphical user interface using a BNC server. So I already have it set up like I did in the uh, last video. I'm The Raspberry Pi is already plugged in. Something I forgot to mention is that if you want to do this again, so say tomorrow you, you turn off your Raspberry Pi, and you want to get back in again, you are going to have to start up your Raspberry Pi SSHN again, and then you're going to want to VNC Surfer 1 again. So you have to do this every time you want to be able to patch in through the VNC like that. And uh, you could write a script that boots this up. You could set it up so that it boots up automatically. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I just wanted to show you the quick way to do it in these tutorials. So now in this tutorial set, what I'm going to show you how to do is transfer files between your Raspberry Pi and your computer. Um, it Right now we're not able to do it. If I wrote something on my computer, wanted to upload it to the Pi directly, let's say a song or whatever, uh, I can't do that right now. And that's what we're going to set up. And there are two methods to do that. One is a little bit more elegant than the other. Uh, in one, I can use the finder and get into it just like it was a device or a shared device like you see other computers here on my network or you could do it through FileZilla which is an FTP client. I'll show you how to set up both in this video. So first let's set it up so that we can actually see it shared like this. The way you're going to do that is first you're going to have to install a new package called Netatalk. So we're going to install this package. Yes we're going to continue and this will take a minute. All right, so Netatalk has finished installing and now we should be good to go. So the next thing you're gonna to want to do is open up your finder, command K, just like before. This time type in AFP colon slash slash and then the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you hit connect, you're going to want to enter the username and password of your Pi. So in this case, Pi and Raspberry. If you connect, here we go. Right here in our finder, we see the grow Pi, home directory, desktop, and we can access our files. Just proof of concept, something I already tested out before filming this, is we can create a file. So I'm going to go to the desktop, open up the text editor, create a file that says something and then I'm going to exit and yes I'll save it I'm gonna call this file tester and there we go so if we look at for it we see our tester file right here okay cool so if we go into our finder and let me so this is through the grow pie desktop we see our tester file okay cool if we open with it here text edit poop just like what I wrote before excellent we can then copy this file and put it right here on our desktop here. And the file's now here. Now let's say I rename this file tester2. Tester2 is already taken. Ah, see, I told you I did this before. Let's call it tester3. Okay, excellent. So if we open now tester3, it says poop. Let's call it poop3, just so that we know it's different. And then we can copy tester3 back excellent and here if we open up tester 3 we see poop 3 so we know that it is communicating an alternative way of communicating sharing files th uh, from your computer is through another program called FileZilla and if you download the FileZilla client this is a free open source platform I believe yeah there you go open source uh, free open source platform and you install this on your computer you can connect to the Raspberry Pi so if we open it up now FileZilla here is FileZilla our host is the Raspberry Pi so 192.168.2.2 our username is Pi our password is Raspberry and we are connecting through port 22 which is the SSH port we quick connect yes it's okay and here on our right we have the Pi side here on the left is the computer from which you are on currently side uh, so if we go to the desktop here we do see our tester and tester 3 file just like 
just like we see here, our tester and tester3 file. So we can quickly download these files. So I'm going to delete the tester3 file on my computer. And it's defaulting to the desktop now. I can now download tester3. So we're connecting, transfer the file six bytes in one second. Here it is now tester3 again. So it effectively allows you to do the same thing, but this is far less elegant than simply using the finder, which, you know, if you're already used to using a Mac, this is this is quick and easy uh, compared to this. So th this is this is the nice way, in my opinion, of sharing files between the, the Raspberry Pi and your computer. This is the less nice way, but an alternative way uh, to get this set up. And you can do this on a PC as well. I'm not too sure about this on a PC. So this is how you set up file sharing between your Raspberry Pi and the computer that you're working on.